Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ian. For today, we're going to be working on parallel lines cut by a transversal and its properties. Isa sa magandang practices sa pag-prove ng mga geometric statements ay yung uh, pagkilala natin at paggawa uh, at paggamit ng mga theorems sa geometry. At yan yung gagawin natin sa mga parallel lines today at ipoprove natin yung mga parallel lines using its uh, theorems and uh, properties. So, umpisahan natin yung tinatawag nating alternate interior angles, converse, at alam natin ang converse statement sa geometry Ang uh, conditional statement na P then Q, ang kanyang converse would be Q then P. So yung theorem na ito, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. At ano nga ba yung alternate interior angles? At alam natin na sa geometry, mas maganda na na-visualize natin yung mga words associated sa mga theorems natin. Kaya ito yung ating visual dito sa statement natin na ito. So if meron tayong parallel lines LM, cut by a transversal, given by angles 4, 3, 5, and 6, alam natin using the alt alternate interior angles, converse na yung angle 4 and 6 ay congruent or magkaparehas ng sukat at si angle 3 at si angle 5. So yan, yung alternate interior angles converse, mapapansin nyo na nasa loob siya ng parallel lines at alternating yung mga angles na magkakapares dito sa theorem na ito. And when this pattern occurs, meron tayo ngayon tinatawag na mga congruent angles. At ang susunod natin, syempre, is paggamit ng alternate interior angles theorem para makakuha ng mga measurements ng mga angles na ito. So, meron tayong parallel lines cut by a transversal, and we are given the value of the measurement of angle 3, which is 55 degrees. At ang gagawin natin without using a lot of formula is to identify the value of or to uh, find the value of angle 5, 7, 4, and 2. So in this case, alam natin na itong angle na ito ay given, which is 55 degrees, so palitan natin siya ng 55 degrees, at ang uunahin natin ngayon is yung measurement ni angle 5, at ito si angle 5, at alam natin mula kanina na ito yung ating uh, angles na nasa loob ng parallel lines, at mapapansin nyo na alternating sila dito sa transversal natin, kaya ang sukat ni angle 5 will be equal to 55 degrees, Dahil yan sa alternate interior angles. At mapapansin nyo na sinusulat ko rin yung reason kung bakit nakuha natin yung sagot dahil ito ay isa sa mahalagang practice para mas mapadali natin yung pagsulat natin ng two-column proof sa geometry. At ang susunod natin is si measurement of angle 7. At itong si measurement of angle 7, using our critical thinking skill, ay it resembles a vertical angle. Sa talam natin na kapag vertical ang kanilang angles, ito ay congruent. Kaya si angle 7 ay 55 degrees din dahil siyempre sa reason ng vertical angles or definition ng vertical angles. At hanapin naman natin ngayon si angle 4 at mapapansin nyo si angle 4, ang clue natin dito ay yung kanyang katabi na angle which is 55 degrees at mapapansin natin na nasa loob siya ng straight line at alam natin ang straight line ay 180 degrees at meron tayong special name or theorem para sa geometry tulad ng pares na yan at yan yung tinatawag nating linear pair. So ang gagawin lang natin to be able to find that value is of course to subtract 180 degrees or subtract 55 degrees from 180 degrees at yun yung magiging measure niya which is 125 degrees. So that means yung measurement ng angle 4 ay 125 degrees dahil sila ay tinatawag nating linear pair or gamit ang linear pair theorem. Da para rin na uh, pwede natin gamitin yung supplementary angles but meron tayong special theorem sa geometry na tinatawag nating linear pair theorem kaya yan yung gagamitin natin kay letter C. At kay measurement of angle 2 naman, mapapansin nyo na tulad ni measurement of angle 7, vertical ang angle 2 kay 4 kaya 
same ang measurement, and 125 degrees then C angle 2. So, yan yung kahalagahan na alam natin yung ating mga theorems, especially sa parallel lines cut by a transversal, to practice us in writing two-column proofs and uh, being able to find geometric reasoning doon sa mga um, figures na nakikita natin. So, dagdagan pa natin yung mga theorems natin sa parallel lines cut by a transversal, starting with corresponding angles converse. So, ang theorem na ito, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. So, mapapansin ninyo kung meron tayong parallel lines tulad nito, meron tayong L and M, at yung mga congruent na mga parts na ito ay yung mga corresponding sides ng ating parallel lines cut by this transversal. And in this case, yung 1 at si 5 ay corresponding, kaya siya ay congruent or magkaparehas ng sukat. Si 4 and 8 ay corresponding din. Si 3 and 7, corresponding. And si 2 and si 6 ay corresponding angles then, Kaya yung mga pares ng angles na yan ay masasabi natin congruent gamit ang corresponding angles converse. At kung meron tayong corresponding angles converse, meron din tayong side-side interior or consecutive angles converse. So mapapansin niyo yung mga terms na ginagamit natin ay kaiba pero familiar yung kanyang mga de, um, ibig sabihin dahil ginagamit natin yung mga theorems na pwede natin ma-encounter sa mga parallel lines gaya nito. So kung meron tayong parallel lines LM tulad kanina, yung uh, values daw ni angle 4 and 5 I supplementary, at alam natin ang supplementary angle by definition are angles whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. Kaya, pag inad natin si 5 and 4, ang measurement nila will always equal to 180 degrees dahil din yan sa ating side-side interior angles converse or yung ating mga consecutive angle converse. Kaya, yung ating conclusion would be M. Measurement of 4 and measurement of 5 is equal to 180. And measurement of 3 plus measurement of 6 is equal to 180 degrees dahil yan sa theorem na ito. At ang susunod nating theorem would be the alternate exterior angles theorem wherein if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate exterior angles are congruent. So notice yung operative word natin na alternate and exterior. So hahanap lang tayo ng mga exterior angles and alternating siya dapat para masabi natin congruent yung mga measurements nila dito sa relationship ng ating parallel lines. So mapapansin nyo, meron tayong line L and line M cut by a transversal. And in this case, mapapansin natin na si 1 at 7 ay nasa labas ng parallel lines at alternating siya. Kaya pwede natin masabi na congruent or magkaparehas ang measurement at sukat ng 1 and 7. So, yan yung alternate exterior angle converse. So, ang conclusion natin with this diagram is that angle 1 is congruent to angle 7 and angle 2 is congruent to angle 8 dahil nga sa ating alternate exterior angles converse. And now that we have introduced the theorems na baka katulong sa atin sa pag-solve ng ating mga measurements ng ating angles given by a parallel line cut by a transversal, Handang-handa na tayong masagot at makumpleto ang mga measurements ng mga angles na nakikita natin dito knowing na ang given angle lang natin ay si angle 4 which is 42 degrees at andito si 42 degrees. Kaya kung papalitan natin ito ng 42, makukuha natin yung mga me measurements ng angle na ito using our Theorems. And again, alam na alam ko na karamihan sa inyo, alam na agad yung sagot dito sa mga measurement of angles na ito, pero ang challenge natin for today is for you to be able to find the reason and the statement that would connect kung bakit nyo nabigay yung measurements ng angle na yan dahil yun ang practice natin para makapagsulat tayo ng mga proofs sa geometry. Umpisa natin kay 2. So, napakadali ng reason kung bakit si 2 ay 42 degrees. Yan ay dahil sila ay vertical angles. At si measurement naman ni angle 6, mapapansin nyo na si angle 6 at si 42 nasa loob ng parallel lines. So, yung clue nyo ay 
Nasa loob siya ng parallel lines at alternating siya, kaya masasabi natin na ito ay also 42 degrees with the reason of alternate interior angles dahil kay 4 and 6. So yan yung isusulat natin sa reason natin kay measurement of angle 6 kung bakit siya 42 degrees at kay measurement of angle 8, Again, ang reference angle natin dito is si 6, kaya pwede nating masabi na 40 to si 8 dahil kay vertical angles or yan ang definition ng vertical angle. At kay measurement of angle 7, 7 naman, napapansin natin na pwede nating gamitin si 6 at si 8 para dito at alam natin na yan ay nakakabuo ng linear pair. At kung linear pair sila, 180 degrees ang sum nila, kaya 42 minus 180 will give us 138 degrees at yon ang measurement ng angle 7 dahil kay linear pair theorem. At si measurement of angle 5, syempre, since magkatapat lang sila, alam natin that it forms a vertical angle, kaya vertical angle si 5 kay 7, kaya pareha sila ng sukat with 138 degrees sa measurement ng angle 5. So, may dalawa na lang tayong angles na natitira at kay angle 3, pwede natin gamitin yung measurement ni 2 or ni measurement ni 4 at alam natin na siya ay linear pair kaya 138 si 3 dahil yan yung sum that would equal to 180 dito sa angle pairing natin. So, linear pair theorem ang gagamitin natin kay measurement of angle 3 at or pwede din natin gamitin si alternate interior angle dahil alam natin na si measurement of angle 5 is also 138 degrees. At alam natin na sa geometry, nakapagka alternate interior angles yung ating mga angles, sila ay corresponding, which in turns to be congruent. At yung last natin, si angle 1, vertical siya kay 138, kaya 138 degrees din ang measurement ni measurement ni angle one. At yan, nakompleto na natin yung measurement ng ating mga angles gamit lang yung ating mga theorems knowing that the measurement of angle 4 is equal to 42 degrees. And uh, pag na-mastered yun na yung mga theorems natin on being able to visualize it in diagrams or geometric figures with parallel lines cut by a transversal, magagamit na rin natin yan para makapag-compute ng missing angles ng figure natin na ito. And in this figure, we are given parallel lines or two parallel lines, L and M, cut by a transversal, at kailangan daw natin hanapin yung value ng X. And when it comes to geometry and solving for X, alam natin na gagamitin natin si algebra at si geometry to be able to answer this particular problem. At yan yung gagawin natin at isolve natin for this problem. Siyempre, ang gagamitin muna natin Skill natin ay yung skill natin sa JOM and how are we going to use JOM in this problem? Siyempre, alam natin na yung measurement ni angle 3 ay equal kay 105. Dahil yan ay yung tinatawag natin alternate exterior angles and they are congruent. Kaya kung congruent sila, pareha sila ng measurement. So we can equate it to 105. And when this happens, alam natin na makukuha natin yung equation natin na x plus 3 or 30 degrees added to the measurement of angle 3 would equal to a linear pair. So ang linear pair natin ay 180 degrees, kaya yung algebraic equation natin will give us x plus 30 degrees plus yung measurement ng angle 3, which is 105 degrees, equal to a linear pair, or sum nila will always equal to 180 degrees. At ngayon, meron na tayong algebraic equation na pwede natin gamitin to solve for the value of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 30 and 105, and then subtract it sa 180, at makukuha na natin yung sagot. So, nagsimula yan, again, sa measurement ni angle 3, which is 105 degrees, dahil sila ay tinatawag natin alternate exterior angle. And then, we equated x plus 30 and the measurement of 3, dahil sila ay linear pair, it will equal to 180 degrees. And using algebra, we're now able to find the values of x dahil 30 plus 105 is equal to 135 degrees. 
So x plus 135 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And we subtract both, both sides by 135 degrees so that we can have x by itself. And x is equal to 45 degrees using algebra. And from here, we are now able to find the value of x. And at the same time, kapag kasinapsitute nyo yung value ng x nyo, doon sa inyong mga values dito sa ating figure, makukuha din natin yung mga similar measurements ng mga angles cut by a transversal. So yan yung paggamit natin ng algebra sa isang geometric problem and napakahalaga na alam natin yung ating mga theorems dahil ito yung makakatulong sa atin para makapag-formulate ng equation na magbibigay sa atin ng value ng x just like in this particular problem. Kaya, ang number bender challenge natin for today ay meron kayong parallel lines cut by a transversal and you are given the measurement of angle 7 and all you need to do is to find I mean, kailangan yung hanapin yung angle 7 given that yung ating angle 3 is equal to 45 degrees. And yan ang lesson natin for today on the properties and theorems associated with parallel lines cut by transversal. Yung pagkuha ng mga angles, sobrang simple. Pero ang goal natin is to be able to identify the reason behind those measures of our angles gamit yung mga theorems natin sa geometry. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!